Hey everyone, this is Silas, and we're finishing up Lin's story, sort of. <laughs> so, when we last left off, Lundgren was being a big jerk and trying to kill us as usual. And we decided to go ask Ellawood for help. Because why not? He hasn't done anything in this story. Not that we'll be getting him. Oh man. <laughs> All this is a war between me and Lundgren now. No other Marquises will be joining the fight. So, see ya, Ellawood. Meanwhile, we have battle coming, and it's fog time. Oh boy. Yep. Fog time. This means we have to have Matthew. Alright, who does not need to come, though? Saying you actually are level 7, you are significantly higher than some others, so you get to come. Yep, and I think he, that should do it. Kent, why do you have, like, six weapons? Trade! Kent, trade with Sane. Okay, sure, do it this way. Sane, hold that, and hold that. Thank you. Alright, and Matthew needs some vulneries. And anyone else need a weapon? Nope. Good. Let's get started. Yep. Yeah, we got you, Matt. You're going to be leading the party. Oh no, what's this? Epic music as a blue unit comes to see us. Meet the final character we get, Wallace. Oh boy. Yay, we get Wallace, and, you know, it was pretty obvious we get him considering he's a blue unit. Well, let's get going. So yeah, there's a couple of things to explain in this chapter. First would be... Not Fog of War, we got something else first. What are your orders? Why, let's cover them. Yes, 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 yes. I will explain this. Time to introduce something known as classing up. In the game of Fire Emblem, you can hit a maximum level of 20. Upon hitting level 10, your character is allowed to class up. And... yeah. To demonstrate this, we just got Wallace, who's level 12 for us. Fantastic. Say hello to the group, Wallace. Alright. The other thing to note is, over here, we have a new unit. A paladin. Strange how it's level 1. I mean, come on, I'm already, like, loads higher by then. But here's the thing. He's technically not level 1. He's, in a way, level 21. See, the thing is, a paladin is a classed-up unit. And here's how classing up the classed-up units work. Cavaliers, like Kent and Sane, Kent and Sane will become paladins. Upon classing up, they gain the ability to use axes. Archers become snipers. They do not gain any other abilities other than just becoming more awesome. Mages become sages and can use healing staffs like Sarah. Clerics can become bishops and learn light magic like Lucius already has. Dor Dorcas as a fighter becomes a warrior and he can use bows. Lucius will become a bishop and can then use healing staves. Nils will not class up. 
Bard is one of the few classes in the game that does not have a class up. Thieves become assassins. They gain the ability to do insta-kills. Pegasus Knights become Falco Knights and gain the ability to use swords. And Knights become Generals, which gain the ability to use axes. Knights only use lances to begin with, which is why you can see Iron Axe is grayed out. To class someone up, you need to have them at least level 10 to level 20 and have the correct item. Now, let's go ahead and use the, Falk the Knight's Crest. Because you know what? Wallace has it, and the game isn't going to let us do otherwise. Yes, 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 Wallace, you're so intimidating. Now, let's explain the problem. You remember that Wallace was only level 12. The thing is, if you're not level 20, you didn't max out, so there's not a potential that you'll have really good stats. Obviously, you can have good stats if the RNG is being nice, but a theory that I kind of follow is to wait till at least level 16, if not higher, to class up. Because that gives you the most chance to get the most stat gains. Now, classing up does give you a lot of stat bo bonuses. However, it doesn't give you enough to make up for the fact that you weren't level 20 and didn't get a lot of stat bonuses. So, that's one reason why Wallace is a terrible character. The game forces you to class him up at level 12. The other is this. Now that Wallace is classed up, he's technically level 21. How the game's experience works is, if you're close in level to the enemy, you gain a decent amount of experience. The higher you are, the less experience you get. For instance, if someone were to kill this mercenary, they would probably get about 10 to 20 experience points. If Wallace kills them, he only gets 3. This is because Wallace is just so overpowered compared to them that he just can't get anymore. So, not only, is, not only did he not have a lot of stat points, he classed up really early and he just sucks up experience. Therefore, Wallace is one of the worst characters in the game. Now granted, he can be good. You can probably get him to do, you know, something decent. He could probably be a decent unit to have. The problem is you just get him way too early for being a level 1 general that you'll use him because he just sucks up experience and it makes everyone else terrible when you need, to, need them to be good. And, well... We'll cover the rest later, maybe. I'm sure this isn't the last time we've seen someone like him. So let's have Florina go there. We'll have Lucius go there. Matthew, you need to be in front because you have the torch. And Dorcas, stick behind those. Next, I'll send this group up, consisting of these people, and we're going to call it a turn. Yeah, lots of uh, explaining to go on. Sorry, I meant to say probably 20 to 30 experience, <laughs> considering Florina just got 10 from attacking but not doing a lot of damage. Uh, you go here, equip your lance, goody. You have iron lance. Let's check at the enemies. Yeah, you would have both long range spear and 
axe. Congratulations, jerk. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Let's have Urk go up and attack. Nice! You got a critical. Very nice, Urk. Oh, and you got a terrible level up. Nah, at least it was speed that went up. That's at least decent to get up. Thanks, Will. I figured you'd miss, but I was hoping you'd do something. Alright, let's have you try again. Now, you'll find this odd, but let me explain. This is a tactic known as the Iron Shield. Basically, you take a character who can soak up damage, i.e. Wallace, and put him with no items in the front of the line. What this does is, for some reason, the AI for this game loves characters with no items. So, if given the chance, they will go after Wallace first. The problem is, they can't do enough damage to Wallace if they can do damage to Wallace, so... Yeah, you sit there. So basically, I'm going to find, like, probably right here, throw Wallace, and then just have all my long-range attackers just shoot over him and massacre anything that attempts to come at me. Alright, Dorcas, 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 you can go... Nope, don't rescue. Wait. And... Florina, you move all the way up. Very nice, Matt. Nice, you still get a double attack. Why would you attack Lynn? You're so stupid. <laughs> I guess it makes... Oh, Fog's here. Alright, so, as Matt was explaining, thieves have increased vision in fog. Uh, does it say here? No, it does not, but they just have increased vision. Uh, as you can see, he can see... One, two... Can I even see the... I think, yeah, I can see that. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. Most characters can only see... Th three, as you can see from Lynn here. This makes thieves ex extremely useful. The other thing is, a while ago we got an item for Wallace on this chapter. It's a torch. Basically, it allows you to see the range of a thief temporarily. It does wear off over time, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, yeah. Good item to have. Thank you, Sarah. Come on, Will. Please hit. Thank you. Alright, level up. I make Will move again. Hmm. Nicely done, Will. Very nicely done. Hey, not bad. Strength went up. That's always good to have. Uh, let's
let's see. Iron Lance. Hmm. Yeah, let's just use the Iron Sword. Less damage, higher chance of hitting, worth using. Besides, we'll be using the Monikati like crazy in the next chapter. Yeah, Wallace, start moving so you can be your Iron Wall. Florian didn't need the experience. Yeah, luck went up. That could have been better, but hey, at least something went up. Oh boy, there's a lot of enemies starting to come now. So we're just going to wait, because there's not much else we can do. Good job, Florina. Oh man, the Slim Mines broke finally. I know Dorcas is getting attacked. Jeez. Yeah, here comes the mook wave of doom. Ah, uh, go ahead, Lucius. Matthew, stay there. Dorcas, just keep being awesome. And hit. Thank you! Eh, not bad. Would have liked strength to go up, but hey. Can't get everything. So we're gonna have Will go ahead and attack. I figured you'd miss, but... Doesn't hurt to try. Wallace! Oh, why don't you go ahead and be your tank, or... No, move here. That's much better. Oh, Florina, you might as well finish this guy off. And, hmm. Alright, Urk, go ahead and attack. Please hit both times. One. Thank you, Urk. Oh, joy. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Anyone else really need it? No? Okay. Oh, good job, Sarah. You're gonna get a level up now. you get, Sarah? Ah, eh, not bad. Magic. That's always good to have. Alright, Kent, you're not going to be doing much up here anymore. You might as well move south, just to even the groups out a bit. Alright. And turn? Good job, Matt. 